So I came back in and tried to do this again. This time I'm using uh, <clears throat> white oak. So I just uh, grabbed some industrial pallets, broke them down, and I milled up some, as I say, white oak. So first of all, it's not, it, it is half inch, which is not the same thickness as the uh, plywood that I've been using. So plywood is always, well, I don't know always, but notoriously undersized. I just wanted to see if I could get, get the corners to come together. So what I found frustrating was that I had to feed all of the pieces through twice in order to get straight edges and clean, even whatever. So I think part of the problem that I'm experiencing is it's not usually too much of a problem feeding it through horizontally, but it remains a problem feeding it through vertically and keeping it perpendicular to the plane. And what that means is almost every time I feed it through, there's a lot of chatter and that chatter results in busted up edges and blah, blah, blah. I've been online using plywood, particularly only half inch plywood, it can be problematic with this bit. In the time since I was last online, I asked in a few Facebook groups if anybody had experience with lock miter joints and I explained that I didn't really want to go for the, I call it the quarter, quarter, quarter method. A friend of mine came over and he said, look, I can use a CNC to cut this so we know exactly what the outside dimension or measurement's going to be, number one, because it's already dialed into his program. And number two, I'll give you undermount drawer slides. Um, they're more expensive, but they allow for a little bit more, well, quite a bit of slop, basically, um, in the horizontal. It's gonna cost me a couple of pennies, but I felt like I had to say, yes, please, because I've been wasting, I've wasted almost like three weeks, maybe four on this. So I'm gonna have somebody else cut all of the pieces for the drawers and supply uh, drawer slides. I will then assemble and install. And it's gonna be maple, but it'll be finished on both sides. I won't have to spray finish. And that right there takes like a week, two weeks off of the, uh, the task because I don't have to wait for it to dry and then sand it between coats. Good night.